Big shout out to 2K Gearbox Studios for inviting me out to this event for free to play gameplay early. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I just came back from the Borderlands 3 reveal gameplay event here in Los Angeles and they gave me some goodies. I want to show them to you guys. So the gameplay reveal event was amazing. It was like a mini E3. We'll talk about that in just a second. But I wanted to show you what they actually gave me. Because honestly, it is pretty freaking awesome. So the first thing I actually wanted to unbox in this little thing was this. This is so freaking cool. Um, I don't want to drop it because it's glass. And you guys will see it in just a second. But... This is like legit awesome. Let me get a little bit closer. It says witness mayhem May 1st. And look at this thing. It's heavy, dude. Like this is awesome. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but this definitely needs to go somewhere back there because it is freaking cool. They also gave me this jacket, which, oh my gosh, we got some stickers in the bag as well. Also gave us some posters, which can I open it? Yes, I can open it. I can actually function. There's the first poster, the second poster, the third poster, the fourth poster, fifth poster, sixth poster, last poster. Freaking awesome, in my opinion. I love when uh, game events give you swag, and they definitely did it big. Um, they also gave me this cool lanyard. And I was at the event, I had to wear this at all times, and this is my computer station. I was computer one. It was pretty cool. They also gave me a hard drive with uh, gameplay on it. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is awesome. I'm definitely going to be using this. It's got one terabyte. So yeah, I'm going to definitely use this uh, for a lot of different things. And it's so cool. It's got like the rose embedded into it and the Borderlands logo right there. Awesome. So I first wanted to start off by giving a big shout out to 2K and Gearbox Studios for inviting me out to play Borderlands 3 early. It was amazing. Honestly, we're going to get into gameplay first and then we're going to be talking about the event. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I got a lot of Borderlands 3 information for you guys here today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The gameplay was honestly really cool. Um, you know, when the keynote finished, I jumped on my station right away. Well, some of my YouTube friends I saw kind of like sit back and wait a couple of minutes. I'm like, no, I want to get on this thing right away. And honestly, the gameplay was buttery smooth. There was so many different gun options. I think I paid more attention to the gun sounds because, you know, Gearbox Studios actually invited me out for We Happy Few in Texas and we got to tour the studio. Um, many of you guys probably saw my video on that. Um, but when we actually toured the studio, we got to see the sound uh, studio as well. And we got to talk to the sound developer and he was talking to us about all of the different guns that he uh, is recording sounds for, for a redacted game. A game that was not uh, set to be announced yet. All of us were assuming that it was going to be Borderlands 3. So, you know, when we actually got to play Borderlands 3, I was paying more attention to the gun sounds and it was so freaking cool. The depth that they actually go into with the sound in the game is awesome. And then, you know, considering the fact that, you know, Borderlands has never been 60 frames per second, this game is 60 frames per second. So it's kind of like watching like a live action art, you know, scene kind of like play out even with the gameplay. Um, the gameplay is actually really good. In fact, I didn't want to put down the controller. Uh, they gave me a 10 minute warning and I'm like, no, no, I gotta continue playing. Um, and then they, they kind of forget about me. 10 minutes passed. I don't know how much time passed, uh, but then they came back and they told me, okay, we, we need to wrap this up. And I'm like, can I finish this boss level please? And they let me finish it. So that was pretty cool. Um, but you know, the gameplay was actually really good. They warned us that it, it's still in development, uh, so I might experience bugs, but I didn't experience anything at all. The gameplay was actually really uh, fluid, like I said, buttery smooth. 
the storytelling was amazing. Oh, with Borderlands, I played a lot of Borderlands 1. I get into Borderlands 2 just a little bit, but Borderlands 3, you know, I, I've never felt, you know, so excited to just be playing a game you know, like of this fashion, you know, a, a first person shooter slash looter, um, you know, it, it was actually honestly pretty cool. And the gun variations were uh, tremendous, you know, I had a game developer that was watching me who was like, whoa, I've never seen that gun before. And I'm like, aren't you a game developer on this game? And they're like, yeah, but there's so many different guns that, you know, we have not seen all of them. And <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool and worth noting for you guys. Now, uh, Randy Pitchford actually said in the keynote that they're not going to be doing uh, microtransactions that, you know, free to play games are known for. Uh, they're going to focus on story DLC. Um, they're nevertheless, like Randy Pitchford, uh, you know, went heavy on the fact that they're not going to have microtransactions in the game uh, like you would see with free to play games. Now, um, you know, I've also heard that the story can take anywhere from like 30 to 40 hours to complete depending on your play style. So there's definitely a lot of content when it comes to that, um, but there's also so much more you, you can actually explore. I have a couple of friends that just play Borderlands um, exclusively for their YouTube channels uh, and their Twitch channels, uh, you know, from what they've said, because they're more of an expert at, uh, you know, Borderlands than I am. Uh, let's face it, let's be honest. And <laughs> what they said is we get at least another five uh, plus years uh, for Borderlands 3. So I thought that was pretty cool too. Now, another thing that I wanted to actually mention was like, Randy Pitchford, big CEO of Gearbox Studios was invested in the game so much that he was actually at the event from start to finish. I know they had multiple play sessions. In fact, they had four play sessions in total. And from what I heard from my friends is that he was there for the whole thing. For my play session, before the keynote started, we saw him on the floor talking to a bunch of people. The keynote uh, finished and he was actually at the game stations. Um, and I first noticed this because I felt a hand on my um, actual chair and I look back and I'm like, whoa, it's Randy Pitchford and he was watching my gameplay. And he actually stood there and watched like 10 minutes of me play Borderlands 3. And I'm like, wow, big CEO, I would picture him, you know, after the keynote finished, he did his job sitting back, you know, um, in some backstage somewhere, sipping wine coolers or doing whatever CEOs do. But no, he was on the floor and he was going around to all of the game stations, making sure everybody was good. He honestly didn't need to do that because there were so many game developers on the floor assisting folks um but you know i i thought that was worth noting too because like how many ceos how many big heads of studios do you see actually do this i hope in the future we get to see more uh big heads uh from studios mimic what randy pitchford did especially with this event here today now um the gameplay like i said was really good the story was awesome uh you know the storytelling was really cool i get to play the the main storyline which is kind of like if you want to play the storyline it's kind of linear and you know you don't get lost too much uh, as far as uh, the story is concerned uh, but you have a lot of different side quests and a lot of different options that you can do within the game uh, than play just a straight story. And when I mentioned that the story is going to probably uh, take you about 30 to 40 hours to complete, that's not including all of the side missions and everything else that they have for the game itself. So there's definitely a lot of content when Borderlands 3 gets released. Um, the, the one issue that I had was like driving. The vehicles were kind of a little funky. Uh, you know, at first I'm like, okay, how do you freaking control this thing? <laughs> but I got the hang of it, but it, it just didn't feel, uh, you know, natural. Um, like you, you would play uh, with another um, game that had vehicles in them. But nevertheless, like the, the focus is not on actually like driving. I think the vehicles are probably gonna take you from point A to point B. But other than that, it was just like running and gunning and shooting people in the face. And I reloaded one time and the uh, gun, 
you know, the, the, the actual uh, shell flew out and turned into a gun itself and started like shooting other enemies. And I'm like, whoa, for, just for me reloading? that happened that's pretty cool uh so there's a lot of different guns in it there's a lot of different variations there's a lot of different ways that you can play it and when borderlands 3 gets released i'll give you guys my honest impressions and feels for it i loved it and um i could not put the controller down even though it was an xbox controller yuck my hands i had to i had to go home and wash my hands really good uh, you know throw some peroxide on it just because i touched an xbox controller no, I'm just kidding. The Xbox people are going to be like, Oh, Monkey Flop, what are you talking about? It's just a joke. Uh, but the gameplay reveal event was awesome in its entirety. A lot of my friends were comparing it to like a mini E3. This one, they, they had 200, 200 plus computers ready to go for people to play. And the, the, whole, the whole thing was just massive. It was huge. And, you know, the, the swag was pretty cool too. So... That's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. What do you guys think about the gameplay so far? What do you guys think about uh, Borderlands 3? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.